In this section, I'll talk about MLD specifically. Manual lymph drainage is a gentle manual technique designed to reroute lymphatic fluid around blocked or inefficient areas of your body. It combines gentle stretching of the skin along with deep techniques such as breathing to stimulate your body's own natural lymphatic function. During a typical MLD session, you'll be asked to get changed into a gown and be covered with sheets and lay down on a comfortable padded table. At that point, your therapist will be working directly on your skin and actually start treating your deep lymphatic system first. The deep techniques of manual lymph drainage involve a specialized deep breathing technique such as diaphragmatic breathing. This helps stimulate your deep lymphatic system that actually gets the rest of your lymph system moving more efficiently. Then areas of your body that are healthy are treated first. And this is why we reroute fluid around the blocked areas into the healthy tissue, thereby decongesting your involved area of the body. When working on the limb itself, the techniques are very gentle and involve a slow rhythmic stretching. We call this a working phase, and that helps move the lymph fluid along the lymph collectors. Then there's a relaxation phase. So you'll actually feel the fluid moving out of your involved area towards the healthy parts of your body. When combined together, this technique takes approximately 45 minutes, and it's very gentle and often has an analgesic or a pain relieving technique or it can relax you. You may even fall asleep during this technique. At the end of your regular MLD session, your therapist may employ some deeper techniques to break up fibrotic tissue, which is a scar tissue that can accumulate in your limb. And these techniques will help reduce that. There are medical reasons why MLD is not performed. These include any condition that would have fluid move back onto your heart or your kidneys, such as congestive heart failure or acute renal failure. It's very important that you tell your therapist about any new or changing conditions every time you come in for treatment, and this will be assessed by your therapist and your physician to make sure it's safe for you to receive treatment. Other things aside from heart failure, kidney failure include an acute DVT or any acute infections.